Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about palm roots and uh, some various things uh, uh, that uh, might interest you. And uh, we're specifically talking mainly about uh, the cold hardy type palms like the windmill palm or Trachycarpus fortunae. Um, here this is a, a Trachycarpus wagnerianus, a waggy palm. and. Uh, We'll use it to uh, do a little bit of our demonstration. But um, palm roots, uh, first thing you want to know is that uh, when you plant your palm, this is the root initiation zone, this uh, area right here where the roots uh, start coming out. And this is the depth you ideally want to plant your palm uh, when, you, when you get it, or uh, just slightly below that because over time, the palm, uh, the root initiation zone will come up uh, taller out of the trunk and the palm would kind of raise out of the ground. And at that point, you have to decide what you want to do. But we'll get to that later. But the next thing we want to talk about is um, the roots, when they come out of uh, this root initiation zone, they start at one size and they never get bigger. So like most tree roots, uh, when they come out, they expand and that's what's going to uh, bust your concrete and that sort of thing. When a palm tree roots come out, they're this size and they stay that size the whole time. They just extend out further in the soil. So you can plant your palm trees close to your house, uh, your foundation, or uh, close to your concrete here like we have, and you don't have to worry about it busting your uh, concrete. Uh, so uh, that's kind of a, a myth. And of course, if you had a large tree, like a, a deciduous tree, uh, you know, you would have to worry about that type of thing. Because uh, those roots, as they come out, get larger and larger and larger, and uh, uh, might crack your concrete or, or do something. But, uh, Palm trees also generally, uh, especially the windmill palm here, um, uh, it's been said that uh, about 80% of this palm tree's roots are within 18 inches of this root initiation zone. So you go out here and not very far out in a circle, that's the majority of your palm roots. Uh, so ideally, you want to plant it in an area uh, away from concrete, a little more than this one. So plant it about two feet from all structures to give it enough soil all the way around to, to be healthy. But, uh, uh, you know, and if you want to, like this one, this one uh, kind of scooted over a little bit. It was probably originally a few six or eight inches from the concrete and it's it's moved over where it's almost touching the concrete now because it kind of some of these palms kind of creep a little bit um, the next thing people want to know is what do you do with this uh, when you see these exposed roots is that a problem well I'm gonna give you the answer uh, if you're in a uh, tropical area and you don't have to worry about freezing and and uh, um, you're down in Florida or somewhere this type of these roots being exposed like this are no problem if the roots are able to reach the ground uh, especially the new roots that come out here then it's no problem but if, in, if the palm gets high enough here the new roots won't be able to reach the ground and it'll kind of uh, choke it off from getting any more uh, growing anymore there and getting any more uh, nutrients so in that case uh, you can raise the soil line up you can either mound it or uh, um, put some extra soil around it and that sort of thing up to this this line right here this root initiation zone you don't really want to go above that um, the next issue you have if you're in a cold area like us or you have something like this windmill palm is these windmill palm roots are not as hardy as the fronds. So the fronds on this palm are hardy to about 
12 uh, degrees, maybe 10, somewhere in that range, they start taking damage. But the roots here are only hardy to about 18 to 20. So your roots, if you have them exposed like this, are liable to be damaged. And once they get cold damaged, they might rot and give your palm some problems. So if you're in an area where you're gonna go below freezing on any of your palms, um, it's just a good idea to go ahead and have this um, covered up. In the case of the windmill palm, you know, they could take it down to, let's say, 20 degrees just to be safe. So anything under 20 degrees, you're going to want to make sure that this area is mulched over these roots uh, in the wintertime at least. And so that, that answers your question on uh, whether to cover them up or not. So um, it's really ideally best to, to mound this up around here and give these roots encouragement to, to grow out uh, when this palm starts pushing up. That's probably your best advice. Uh, but like I said, that's that's mainly for us people growing these cold hardy palms. If you're in Florida and it's growing up and you don't care and you got a lot of palms, then you know, do what you want. If it, once it gets up so high, the, the palm will really would ideally benefit from being deeper in the soil. But uh, but you know, there's a lot of palms that do just fine that are raised up with roots hanging down all over the place. So so uh, anyway. Um, I guess the next thing we can talk about is when you're uh, uh, trying to transplant something like that. Uh, or dig up something like one of these sable palms. Any type of sable palm, once it gets uh, above a certain size is almost impossible to dig up and, and make it live because those roots once you cut those roots they'll die back to the plant and and the plant just won't have enough energy to regenerate new roots so if you have a large palm like this you're just not going to be able to, to dig it up and make it live um, about the largest size that you really want to dig up might go a little bit larger something like like this size something that's a couple years old you might can get away with with digging these up and having them live but a lot of times these palms you'll think they're gonna live and months later uh, they'll just uh, decline and die sometimes they might even live for a year and uh, you think oh they did fine but uh, that moving them is just not something they can stand so anyway, that gives you an idea of some of the things on the uh, uh, palm roots, and uh, uh, we hope everybody's having a good day.